Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're finished with Rhea Lucaria. As far as where to go next, let's take a look at the notes that I forgot to read before and, well, perhaps those will tell us where to go next. The new ones we got were Preceptor's Secret. Preceptor Saluvis is hiding a dirty secret in a cellar among the ruins, not far from the Sisters Three. The vile Graven Witch seems to be a frequent visitor to that place. I don't think we found that place. Ruins not far from the Sisters Three, the Three Sisters. No, I don't, I don't think we've met Three Sisters. Next one is Revenants. The crawling royal Revenants and their followers are all cursed. Healing powers will harm rather than mend. Oh! So if you use healing spells on them, it'll actually hurt them. That's cool. And the last one is the Frenzied Flame Village. South of the Grand Lift of Dectus lies the Frenzied Flame Village inhabited by the sick. Stay well away. We already found the Flame Village, right? Isn't that... It's not all the way down here, actually. Oh, wait. That's Ailing Village, not Flame Village. Well, it's it south of the... What, Lift of Dectus or something like that? I don't even know what that is. Let's explore the area around Lake Liernia. I want to go from North Liernia Lake Shore and go south and follow this up. I want to get to the top of this thing that I could never reach because it was so high. Tranquility. Fog. Ooh. Oh, right, you got those thingies. Ah! Okay, so they have shields. Let's try some new um, spells. See how the greatsword works from the horse. Quite well. Let's try. Oh, I'll show you Glint Blade Phalanx. So it takes a lot of um, it takes a lot of FP to cast it, but yeah, you could kind of prep that so it'll shoot those blades whenever you get near an enemy, and you can do other stuff while you're doing it. So you can kind of prep it. How long the last? Oh no, they have the same thing. They have their own blades. No. Let's try Magic Glint Blade. So that'll shoot out of the sky in a second. Yeah. That one is probably most useful for hitting people in the back or the side when they have a shield. So not really good for this. Let's see how Star Shower tracks them. Ooh, it like turned all the way around. Oh yeah, that tracks really well. Which is good, because it's damn expensive to cast. In terms of damage versus FP, it's really inefficient. But it makes up for that with the fact that it tracks so much better than just like a Glint Blade Shard. Oh! So yeah, Glint Blade Phalanx, good for prepping additional damage. Magic Glint Blade, good for getting around shields. Star Shower, good for tracking fast enemies. 
I like all those spells. I'm not going to use them that often because they're specialized kind of spells, but very nice. Let's try magic glint blade on these because they do have shields. Yeah, hits him right in the back. Turn him around. They track me. Hits him in the back. That's so cool. Ah. Stop chasing me, please. Stop. Ah. And the horse lived. Be free. I wish I could get their horse armor. I want horse armor. I don't want it as a DLC, but just normal horse armor would be cool. Hello. They don't seem to actually aggro. Oh, they're bolted to the chains through their chest. Oh. I'm not sure if I should take out the adds first or the giants first. Let's go with the giants. No, no. I, oh my god, I didn't want to target the horse. I'm sorry. There's just so many things to target. They still have an aggroed. I, I think they just don't aggro. Oh no, 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 they do. I guess if they weren't chained to the thing, they would try to come after me. But since they are, they only attack if I'm at their feet. Poor things. My, oh, I'm totally out of FP.
Oh, we got a fuzzy dog. I'm sorry. Sword. Oh, that looks really pretty. It looks so colorful. Let's check it out. Does physical and magic. So scales with strength, dex, and int equally, equally badly. <laughs> Straight sword embedded with a blue glint stone. Weapon of knights sworn to carry in royalty. These knights' swords could serve as catalysts, letting them wield sorcerous battle skills. Despite numbering fewer than 20, this power made them a match for even the champions of gold in battle. Oh, that's really pretty. And it fits with all my other armor so well. It really does. It looks like a mage weapon. Like, it really looks like a mage weapon. And I mean, I guess it kind of is, right? It uses int and it does magic damage. I have been wondering whether I should switch away from the flail. I love the flail, though. And the fact that it does both frost and blood loss is just... Oh. I'm sure at some point I'll switch. If I found a magic flail, like a magic, uh, I don't mean one that does magic damage because I could make this one do magic damage, but one that's like visually looks like a magician would use it. That would be amazing. Kind of doubt I'm going to find that though. Could this be a necessary item? No. Could this be a something? No. Oh no. Ah. Let's try not to piss off anyone. Oh, hello. Whoa. Pressing the wrong button. Oh, oh, this is a lot of them. Oh, wow. No, no, don't. Uh. How cool is it to use that carrion greatsword on a horse? On a horseback? Be wary of ambush. Yeah, I should have read those messages. I thought they were just telling me about the item, so I ignored them. Don't need to anger the procession again.
Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, who is... Oh, there you are. Pickle. Wait, does this say visions of head because it sort of vaguely looks like they're trying to suck their own dick? Is that what that is saying? <laughs> Could this be a giant butthole? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm so glad the network maintenance is over and I can be connected to the internet again. Some angry jellies over there. Looks like it leads up to something. There's something on the hill. Some sort of structure. Pretty small one it looks like though. Yeah, that was not effective. Ah, it just keeps hitting the head is going to be the problem. I want to try melee. Where you have left. So good. Love this flail.
two chests? Slightly suspicious. I don't see them moving, though. So I guess they're probably not mimics. Thief. <laughs> What the heck? Albinoric blood clot. That's a new one. Is that a crafting ingredient? Wait, is that a new one? Did I get six or have I had them before? Found by killing Albinorix. Oh, is that the fish people? Thick coagulated blood of the Albinorix. The life forms made by human hands. Thus, many believe them to live impure lives, untouched by the Earth Tree's grace. Hmm. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Fuck. They just got a guard counter. That sound wasn't from me. Yeah, there's another guard counter. Oh, that is not the one I wanted to cast, although that's fine, I suppose. Yeah, get him right in the back. Ah! I'm testing out my spells, okay? to me dearly. Um, don't I have some nasty meat? Restores HP but causes poison buildup. Well, I'm gonna eat it. Nom nom. Is it gonna poison? Oh, it did poison me. Uh, oh, do I not have any po- oh fuck, I don't have any boluses. Please tell me I can make one. Yes, yes I can make four. Well, I came out on top in the end. Nasty jar meat. Giant ghosts. <laughs> they might be ghosts, but they push down the real trees. So I want to take a left at the split up here to get to the top. Ah! Whoa! They can teleport.
Oh, those look awfully big. Oh, I have no FP left. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there we go. Whoa. Scary. I didn't look at how many runes they gave me. Hey, jellies. Something cool over here? No, just chilling in the corner. I remember I saw another giant up here. Ah, there you are. Yeah, they're walking on the path that leads to the top. Why is it always futility? Gold-tinged excrement. Hmm, be wary of giant ambush ahead. Giant ahead. Aha. Why did I run straight? Don't run straight.
gorgeous view. I wonder if I could see further down there if it was better, better weather. The four belfries. This is where we use some keys, stone sword keys. Oh, that's not a player message. It's a game message, crumbling lands. What does it take? That takes the imbued sword key. We only have one. Ooh, let's go take a look at the others. These all take imbued sword keys. Precipice of Anticipation. Night Sky Unceasing. Oh, these all sound so interesting. I want them all. Oh. It's a little suspicious. <gasps> we get a freebie, so now we have two. Why is it always message? And there's a side of grace here. feel too stressed about my decision since I could do two out of three. Let's do the first and then the second one. I'm assuming this only requires one. Looks like it. So, crumbling lands, take me. Crumbling Faru Mazula. Where are we? We're oh my god. Well, I guess the map goes more to the right. set piece it's strange it feels like a dream because it's completely or almost completely silent can we get down there What is happening here, though? Gorgeous view. Time for Elden Ring. I want to go home. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, we can go down there. Ah, oh, we can't horse here. We are far up in the sky. Item crafting required ahead. Probably thinking of cotton. Group ahead. Oh, hey. Damn, they have a lot of health. Let's do a melee. I don't think I need to make cotton. No, I don't. Ah! Whole new type of enemy. Ah, holy shit, that did so much damage! Oh my god! Ah. <laughs> what are they? Got nasty mouths. They seem reptilian in some way. But yeah, one of those hits did like 75% of my health worth of damage. That makes me think I'm underleveled for that place. But I don't care, I'm going back. And I assume this is the only way to get to that place. I mean, it's in the sky. Oh, now there's other messages. High spot ahead. Ill-omened creature ahead. Okay. Yeah, what are you? Scary. Those teeth. I can't really tell what they are. They look sort of dog-like, actually. Sort of reptilian. They have ears. I don't know what they are. There's so many blood stains here. Didn't expect dead end. But why is it always too high up? Oh, it really is a dead end. That's it? Dead end? Storm ahead. Uh, yeah, true. So is that just a little taste of the kind of enemies you're going to face when you do end up getting here? Expecting there to at least be an item or something. Be wary of decoy. What? Oh, wait. There is an item. Pearl Drake Talisman. Oh, that looks so pretty. Didn't expect Talisman. Boosts non-physical damage negation. Oh, so all non-physical damage. Talisman depicting a pearlescent ancient dragon. The ancient dragons who ruled in the... Oh wait, that's the same description as all of these, yeah. Weirdly enough, the Pearl Drake Talisman's effects aren't actually shown in the status screen when you look at your damage negation and, and defense and resistance and stuff. So I just had to Google it, and it turns out it decreases the damage you take from non-physical sources by 5%. Which is pretty good. You know, nothing amazing, but given that it's for all sources other than physical, it's pretty good. 
I think I'm going to stick with the raises potency of sorceries one, though. Like, Radigan's, Radigan's Scar Seal is a absolute 100% keep. I'm never changing that. Curve Sword Talisman enhances guard counters. This one is, like, uh, I, I could part with it, but it's also good. Same with this one. I could part with it, but it's also good. I did do a test of the Graven School Talisman off-camera, by the way. Um, I think off-camera. And it doesn't seem to raise the potency of sorceries that much. Maybe 5 or 10%. I mean, heck, let's just Google it. Yeah, it boosts sorceries by 4%, so significant, but nothing amazing. Anyway, let's go to the night sky unceasing. Eternal City, oh my god. God, that is beautiful. I love that these seem to be previews of places, but also still useful. Gives you a little hint as to places you probably, I assume, will be going in the future. And also gives you access to like a little special area Where are we on the map? Oh, even the map is all dark. That's cool. So we're just here, but I assume we're way above the ground. Way, way, way above the ground, probably. Oh, there's the water down there. Yeah, we're pretty high up. The weird thing is, there's nothing but rock above us. I think that's rock. Like, are we in a cavern somehow? We're in the sky, but we're in a cavern? I, I don't know how this works. This place is impossible, basically. It shouldn't exist. This place feels so different from anywhere we've been. Modeled necklace. Is that a talisman? Raises robustness, immunity, and focus. I assume that's not going to be reflected in the stats either, so I'm just going to Google it. The wiki actually doesn't say exactly how much it raises your robustness, immunity, and focus. So I have no idea. A vividly colored accoutrement, precious to the ancestral followers. Said to be a budding horn. The ancestral followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again, until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. It's a beautiful thing. They look like they're very strong. Very, very, very strong. Oh, 
Oh, I recognize your moveset. Yeah, I've encountered you before. I've fought your kind before. Let's do melee. No, 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 I meant to have my melee out. Oh, wow. Eventually, I'll break their poise. Oh no. They do that. They have the full moveset. Oh, that's a new one. <gasps> what is that? I think I have to be kind of cheap and just use magic. Because that enemy is ridiculously hard with melee for me. Whew. Such a cool enemy, though. That's it. Oh, can't wait to come here properly. Wait, how do I leave? I can't teleport. Do you just fall off? <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna leave my 14,000 souls. That hurts, but... Uh, I don't know what else to do. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna head down this mountain to here, and then continue on south towards this minor earth tree. <laughs>